Heron, the ADF's eye in the sky, continues to provide vital intelligence to coalition forces operating on the ground in Uruzgan. Even as we near the end of our time in that region, the unmanned aerial vehicles and their operators remain as valuable as ever. We get tasking from uh, the combined team Uruzgan up at Tarancot and we, are, we form part of a picture building for that team in order to allow them to assist the ANSF in developing their headquarters capabilities and also monitoring what's going on in the battle space. Leased through the Canadians, the Heron aircraft boasts an impressive set of tech specifications, especially when it comes to endurance and altitude. With a ceiling of 20,000 feet and a flying time of 24 hours, these vehicles have more than proved their worth on Operation Slipper. And it's inside these shipping containers where the work is carried out. Fully qualified RAAF, Army and Navy aviators pilot the UAVs on daily missions out of Kandahar, a video game this is not. Because it's a real aeroplane, uh, you have to fly it like a real aeroplane. This aircraft weighs about a tonne and uh, it goes a long way and you need to be able to put yourself in the aeroplane in terms of how you think and operate. Nor should they ever be referred to as drones. A drone to me uh, has a connotation of being an aircraft that isn't smart, uh, doesn't think. We've actually got a bunch of very smart people. Most of them are highly trained uh, either pilots uh, or intelligence officers that control the aircraft and then have access to a lot of information that allows them to make very smart decisions about uh, the way to operate the aeroplane. But the work doesn't stop and start with the pilots. Imagery specialists put in long hours making sense of the intelligence gathered by the aircraft. My job is to analyse uh, real time the video footage that Heron collects of information that we're seeing from on the ground. Part of Heron's success is the amount of hours the UAVs can spend on mission. A contract maintenance team instrumental in keeping the birds aloft.